Well, that's my shroom burger. This is the vegetarian burger. I've tried this once before and it's actually really yummy. And then that is the regular cheese fries. Regular fries. Ketchup, mustard. How's your burger? Good. Good day, everybody. So I'm just having a short stroll through my neighborhood. I was planning to release this video over on my second channel, Shinichi's World, but I realized that I did not have time to finish editing the video for this channel. So this is gonna be a really short one, filmed completely on my iPhone. I hope you guys still enjoy this video. All right, let's teleport to Shinjuku. All right, so I'm in Shinjuku Station and I'm looking for Vin now. I'm supposed to meet him at this Hi. station. <laughs> My God. <laughs> I always watch your channel. Hi. Right. Hi. <laughs> That's Vin. Mm. So, um, yeah, how are you doing? Good, good. It's a beautiful yeah. day today. So, yeah. There is this, this huge line of people for this uh, place called the Flipper Stand. And it's basically a souffle pancake pudding dessert. Uh, you know, this is one of my favorite areas in Shinjuku Station, one of the more newly refurbished areas. Uh, this is on the second floor of Shinjuku Station. I don't really know what this area is called, but now there is like this all this green and there are chairs over there that where you can sit and watch the trains go by if that's your thing. And they have a lot of really nice shops over there. There's like a food hall there with nice food. The oysters are especially good. And they have a Dine di Luca. They have like a cold juice place. They have a, a Pier Marcolini for really high-end chocolate. Um, Takashimaya, good store and um, some other stores down there. So there is a place to sit here. So let's go this way. Isn't this pretty? Like I love this addition to the Shinjuku station. And look, these are like little chairs here where you can look out onto the trains if you're interested in trains, right? And that has been demonstrating for you how to sit and watch trains at Shinjuku Station. Okay, I actually think that those chairs are meant for uh, train enthusiasts. I think that's why they're set up yes. that way, you know? Okay, so today we're at Shake Shack in Shinjuku to get some lunch. It's actually my favorite Shake Shack in all of Tokyo. The reason why is that there are less people here there's hardly ever a line, which is great. If you go to some of the other branches, there's always a long line of people. So I like this place and I think it's pretty convenient. So uh, we're gonna look for a chair. I also like the outdoor seating as well. You can also sit indoors if it's too hot or too cold. But um, yeah, we're gonna sit right here, I think. Hey, here's the food. <laughs> so good. And I got the uh, the vanilla shake for you. Yeah. And this is my blueberry crumble shake, which is for me. Oh, so that's my shroom burger. This is the vegetarian burger. I've tried this once before, and it's actually really yummy. And then that is the regular cheese fries. Regular fries. Ketchup, mustard. How's your burger? Good. Mm. Yeah, really good. Yeah. There's no bacon. There's no bacon. Mm. No joke. Mm. I wonder how they compare to the prices in New York. Mm. Yeah, like for example, the Shack Burger is 710 yen, which is around seven U.S. dollars, and um, Vanilla Shake is 490, which is approximately four dollars and ninety cents. Mm. Total comes out to 5,929 yen. So we accidentally ordered the wrong. The what? We accidentally ordered the wrong thing. I know, but we did. I thought I, anyway. I thought I thought Finn was getting the shrimp burger and I got the shack burger, but I completely forgot. Because he, he told me he wanted to want the bacon but and I forgot the name of it. So he went all vegetarian. Yeah. It's yeah. So weird. No, but yeah. the shrimp burger is really, really good. Yeah, it, it's actually one of my, my favorite burgers. Mm. The only thing they don't have here that they have in America mm. is the chicken burger. Oh, they don't? Oh, really? Yeah, they, they don't have the, the chicken 
uh, sandwich or chicken burger here, mm. which I did try in New York. But I can't believe there's no meat in here. Yeah, there isn't. This it is a, so good. Yeah, it's a portobello mushroom. It's actually mm. quite nice. I think Shake Shack, at least in Japan, has the best cheeseburgers so far. Mm. So far. That's my opinion though. Interesting. Yeah. The milkshake got me really cold in the shade. Oh yeah. <laughs> it did. <laughs> my milkshake on the other hand was completely melted. Oh, I was what? kind of bummed out um, oh. because I didn't start drinking it until the end. Oh okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, so I, I, I have to remember mm. to drink my milkshake with my meal. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. You enjoyed it though, right? Was it I, good? I did. But you know what? I think the next time I'm gonna order my milkshake at the end of the meal. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. yeah. So it comes in fresh. Yeah, it's exactly. Because for some reason, I don't like to drink my milkshake with my burger. Because it's like eating dessert and my meal at the same time. I understand, yeah. And, and you know how I am, right? I have to have my sweets at the end. Yeah, you do. Yes. You know, I'm very, very like picky that way. <laughs> okay, so I'm back home. Just want to say thank you for watching today's video. Don't forget to check out Vin's website, vinwong.com to check out his amazing abstract art. Until next time, take care, have a great day. Bye-bye.